Hello everyone and very welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mickey in case you are new and this is the Mickey way. In this channel I talk about my life in general and I also show some of my passions. I don't know if you know about this but I have a video unboxing my telescope. This is the Orion X-T8. It is a great 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 telescope. I usually use this every night to see the moon. A few weeks ago, not even a week ago I think, uh, I was talking with Mark, if you don't know who Mark is, you can go check his channel up here. I'm gonna leave his link in one of these things right here. So you can go check his channel as well. He was telling me that we haven't used the telescope yet to see planets because everything that we've been doing is just to look at the moon. For the moon I actually have these, oh sorry, I have these guys here that are fantastic just to look at the moon. Ah, the other day on Sunday we went outside and saw this very huge shiny star and he was like oh my god what star is that one so I was like oh I don't know so I grabbed my phone and I went to this app which is Skyview I don't know if you have Skyview this is the best app it tells you the name of the star and how far away it is and all the information that you probably need to know about that star so if you are new to astronomy like me and you want to also learn well subscribe to my youtube channel right now and at the end of this video if you like my video please give me a like and also let me know down below in the comments what do you think about what I'm about to show you right now as you can see on the title of this video we are going to be showing you Jupiter and Saturn that I filmed from my phone and my telescope on Sunday. It looks fantastic. Now the quality is not the greatest because I recorded it with my phone, but I think you still can see some of the planet itself. And my reaction is kind of funny because I didn't know if it was a planet or it was a star, but as soon as we realized that it was a planet, we were super excited. I wanna show you first right now, Jupiter. I have two videos for Jupiter because that was the easiest planet to find, I guess it's because is closer to us and that's why it shines the most and it was the easiest planet to find on the telescope so here we go I hope you like it so that is the first video we actually were very excited because uh, we didn't know what planet it was but I don't know if you can see uh, right here you can still see in the middle, the two lines, and that's when I knew it was Jupiter. <laughs> this is the first time that we are actually capturing planets, because as I said before, we only use the telescope to look at the moon, but never to planets. And this is the perfect, the perfect moment. And it was actually something that we were not expecting to look at that night. When you look at the planet with your own eye, you can actually see it better. Like the human eye or the camera cannot compare it to the human eye. It, the view is way different. If you want to know about this telescope right here, I will leave the link down below or check out my, my video. I don't know, somewhere here probably. One of these heights. Check out my video where I unbox this telescope. Maybe if you're interested, you can go check it out. Uh, it was like around $400. I think it was less than $400. I don't remember right now. These binoculars were under $100, which is fantastic because, trust me, the view that I get to see and all the stars I get to see only with this, it's great. So if you want to start with something, I would recommend you to do this one. I'm going to leave the link down below in the description box as well for that one. I was trying to get as close as I can. It looks very, very tiny. It looks like a, like a just tiny little dot of light and you actually don't see the planet. Like I had to actually zoom in on the phone to uh, get a little bit of those lines. I know it doesn't look perfect, but trust me, that is Jupiter and I don't know if you can see it on your screen, but I truly hope you do because I love this moment. As you can see, it is a little bit difficult to focus the planet and it is because they go so fast that it's kind of hard to get it. Maybe if I would have a different camera, maybe, just maybe, the pictures could have been better or the videos could have been better as well. But so far, this, these guys work very good for me and I use them every night. Now, something that I wanted to show you, which I was not expecting, and it was Saturn. 
I was not expecting to see it, honestly, when uh, I was moving the camera, well, I was moving the telescope to get the camera back to Jupiter. Suddenly, by mistake, I found something else. And I got a little bit like shocked because it didn't look like a planet at first. You're gonna see it and I want you to hear my reaction. We found Saturn just by mistake, by pure mistake. You can see in the video. I hope you enjoy this video because this video just blows my mind. Alright, so here we go. I am I can see like a donut. If you hear my reaction, I am very shocked because I really thought we were capturing a UFO. Tell me if you see that on your phone, what would you think? Let me know down below in the comment section. Like, would you think this is a UFO? Or would you right away be like, oh no, that's Saturn. There it is. You can see the rings. I don't know if you can, but I can see it here on the computer. It looks so cool. Like, it's so beautiful. Ooh. Again, my camera doesn't capture the best. Let me tell you something, for an iPhone 8, it did a great job. You can see the planet and the rings around. It is just amazing. Like, I just can't believe how those things can also float around just like our planet. And they are just so far away. And the difference with this planet is that there is no life. And so far, we are the only intelligent life known out of two trillion galaxies out there. And we haven't even been able to get there, not even to Saturn. Because we haven't even left our own galaxy, the Milky Way. Look at that. You can see the rings. You can see. You can see it perfectly. I mean... Tell me if you don't see Saturn in this video. It is so beautiful. Every time I look at this video, I just I just think like, dude, wow. Wow. Look at that. And those planets are way bigger than ours. If you look at a picture of Jupiter, you see one of those storm rings or uh, hurricanes they look like. I think NASA says that it can easily, one of those, eat Earth like nothing. So you can imagine how tiny Earth can be comparing to our neighbor planets. We are very, very tiny. Look at that! That was the video of Saturn. I don't know if you saw at the end, I moved the camera really quick and that was the worst mistake ever because I couldn't find it again. It took us around another half an hour, like going little by little because this one is not automatic. You actually have to find your, the planets and the stars and the moon yourself. So it took us a while, it took us like 15 to 20, even to half an hour to find again Saturn. But at the end, Mark did, he found Saturn and I actually got to enjoy it with my own eyes and it was just beautiful. I would say like every person should have at least one of these guys in their house because just to look at the dark sky and all the mysteries that are holding out there it's just it's just fantastic and and i i wish everybody can do the same thing and have this 
this knowledge or try to have the knowledge about what is out there because we only focus in our planet and all our problems that comes with it but there are things more important there are things bigger than this we should try to all get a little bit of education in this because it's fantastic I recommend you 100% astronomy if you're a beginner like me join me anyways so this is the video for today i hope you enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed making this video if you did please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel also if you like this video please give me a thumbs up down there clicking that like button and also leave me a comment down below and let me know what do you think about the videos that i showed you today hopefully in the future i will be able to have a better quality of a camera so that way i can shoot better pictures or videos of the planet or the moon or any other star if you support me i would truly appreciate that i am trying to get to 1000 subscribers so if you subscribe to my youtube channel thank you very much i appreciate that also if you would like to you can follow me on instagram i love instagram and i usually go there to post my half naked pictures so go check it out just follow me there as well if you would like to i post more of my day to day over there on my instagram stories so maybe we can get like more personal over there i hope to see you next week remember wednesday 12 p.m pst i will see you here on my youtube channel have a great day and be Behave yourself. Bye. <laughs>